Oh my god, guys, I am so excited to share with you some awesome news. I have finally gotten one of my huge goals done, which is to create a course for new art teachers. I have covered a lot that I can think of. I'm sure there's always more because, of course, education changes and we're all life learners. Sorry, lifelong learners, including myself. But I'm, in this course, I'm going to share with you all the strategies that I use in my own classroom that I find that are successful. I'm going to cover topics such as planning for success, um, figuring out who you are, and finding out your purpose and intent for teaching. I'm going to cover classroom management management strategies, community building, and how to teach it in a fun and an engaging way. I'm going to cover, uh, sorry, cover growth mindset and how to teach mindfulness um, in the classroom uh, management part of it. Um, so for this video, I'm going to teach you how to use this course. Okay, so the very first thing that you're going to notice when you open it up um, is that you're going to be starting off with some lessons. So uh, for example, this is starting off at lesson two. So you'll see different um, sections and headers, um, sorry, title pages for each of the lessons. So the lessons are the different categories in the course um, for you to learn from. Now the cool thing is that I'm going to give you content and information that is relevant to this. Um, and every now and then you're also going to be finding um, challenges for you to complete in this course. Okay, so you'll get to a spot and then you'll get to end a lesson or partway through the lesson and you'll find a challenge that you need to complete. And of course the challenge is going to actually be useful for you because it's going to give you, um, allow you, sorry, to create something that you're going to use in your classroom this year. So essentially by going through this course you're actually part planning your year. Okay, and I even teach you how to do a year-long plan, unit plan, and lesson plan in this course and give you the templates for that too. Okay, so I give you a lot of things that you can take and actually use in your classroom, either with the kids or for yourself. So for example, lesson two is create your own classroom. And some of the content you will find, it'll I'll walk you uh, through how to create your own classroom. So from selecting a theme for your classroom, might take you through some, whoa, color inspiration okay so you'll have color inspiration and it'll actually have you figure out your own color inspiration for your classroom too I'll talk about some flexible seating um, options in the course as well so a lot of it so content this would be an example of a content page where I teach you um, an idea and then I might have a challenge so this one's for transformation of your classroom so you're encouraged to take before during and after pictures of your classroom as you create it okay so another one you might now of course this is just a sample of some of the pages that are in it of course this document is massive and uh, if I were to sit here and walk through all of it it would take a long time so the next one that I will show you is lesson five is classroom rules and procedures. So I will teach you all about classroom rules and procedures and how to um, introduce them in a very engaging way. Okay, so this one is lesson five classroom rules, rules and procedures. Um, I will talk to you about what kind of procedures and classroom rules that you should have in your classroom. So you can, some ideas for you to think about. Um, we are all different in terms of being teachers and we all have different things that we care about as being a rule or not as much. So you pick what makes sense for you and your teaching style. Um, so I talk about how to teach uh, rules and routines in an engaging way for elementary school. And I'll give you different strategies for how you might um, introduce your rules and routines, which is important if you would like your classroom to function through the entire year. Um, and kids need to really understand what that looks like. So I talk a lot about modeling and how to do this so that the kids can see and hear what a rule, procedure, or routine looks like and what they should be doing. Because at the elementary level, we some, we really need to teach them um, in a whole body way, okay? So at the I also talk about it, how to do it in the high school and middle school um, level because uh, something like a call and respond or a fun game that would be really, really cool at elementary, um, the high school kids would be like... <sighs> 
don't don't even right so that's uh <laughs> i have it uh differentiated for that however i encourage you high school and middle school art teachers to read the elementary version as well because you can adapt or modify some of the things and pull from it to make it relevant for your um, high school or middle school class, right? Especially depending on the age. Um, don't tell me that high school kids ain't gonna want to win some candy, okay? That's all I have to say. All right, so I will actually teach you about assessments. So when you get to le lesson six, I, it's all about assessment. Um, I also give you some really, really cool <laughs> uh, little well, these are ma for magnets, so if you've laminated and put some magnet tape on the back, you can put this up on your board so that way all your learning intentions and I can't make statements of what you're learning in your classroom is very clear to whomever may enter your classroom, either you, um, your students, or a surprise visits from administrators, especially for those of you who get surprise observations. I don't because where I work, that would go against union policy, but I, I've i heard that for some districts, principals just happen in on your classroom and are like, today's an observation. And if that were me, I'd be panicking. And I've read in forums that they like to see um, it to be very apparent what you're teaching. So that would be one way for everybody to be very much on the same page. Um, I also give lesson plans where you can directly write in all your standards or curricular content right onto it. Um, same with your monthly, also known as year-long plans. So that way it's always transparent and clear no matter what, which is really what it should be anyways. Right? We are expected to follow a curriculum um, and everybody should know what the target is, including the kids. How are they going to know what they're learning unless you tell them? All right, so I will take you through assessment. This will be a page um, that's content about it. So you, um, if you're going to do this course, you're going to read through this page on assessment or whatever the content is for the topic that you're doing. Um, again, I provide you things to use in your classroom, such as this observation sheet. Um, I also have a grade book, art statement, um, art reflection, all these are um, templates in this course as well that you can use in your classroom from day one. Yep, um, again, again this is like a, an example of a challenge um, that you would do. So this is a student assessment and you're going to do the challenge and this is going to actually guide you in creating stuff for your classroom for this year. Okay, uh, we'll go over uh, classroom community. Uh, again, content for you to read. And then I will provide you with some things that you can use as community builders um, in your classroom and back to school because, of course, this is the whole intent of this course is really just giving you um, tools that you can use in your classroom to be successful. Um, in lesson three, I'll help teach you how to plan your year so that way you're successful. So planning for success, um, teaching you how to talk to your administrator so that way you know um, the expectations before you begin the journey through the year. So that way there is no confusion or, um, and everything is clarified for you. So that way you know your job and they can't come later and say, well, you were supposed to do that. You'll be like, I didn't know that. Well, that takes away all the confusion, right? So I will teach you how to do a year-long plan and explain all that idea. Um, I will give you ideas for back-to-school art projects, um, some things that you, um, some of my themes or ideas that you can create lessons around. And of course, I always give you templates, guys, lesson plans, um, unit plans, all of those templates. Now, none of this is editable because um, I've spent many, many, many long hours on this, um, and these are my ideas. So for copyright reasons, I cannot make this editable, editable, but it, to be honest, in my own world, I don't, um, do that anyways. I find it a lot more difficult. Um, when I'm planning at my desk, I'm not going to sit there and start typing it all up, try to figure out how to get on the boxes so that fits when I can just honestly just write it down on the paper. So what I do is I always just print off massive stacks of unit plans, lesson plans, and have them in bins on a shelf. And then I just grab and go write it in and then stick it in a binder. And that way, if 
anybody's doing an observation or asks to see my lesson plans or if you're one of those people who have to um, submit their lesson plan prior to doing it um, then you can just grab that and um, you can totally show them and of course all on there you're going to have like what the teacher's doing, what the student's doing, the overview, the materials you need, and the content that you are targeting because that is what you need to communicate. I will also go over back to school. So important, my friends. Okay, um, if I know that when you're a new teacher, that is a panic. Don't worry. I gotcha. I talk about back to school. Okay, talk about back to school. Um, give you shopping list if you need to go get supplies. I talk about how you should introduce yourself because, hey, guess what? We're not robots that are standing in front of a class with um, no lives and no personalities and we're just, you know, go to bed behind our desk until the next day when the kids arrive because I sometimes think that's what they think. I've had, I've had kids say things to me where I'm like, I just, I go home, guys. I play video games sometimes, read books, like, do anything then other than live at school. <sighs> Anyways, so you need to, I'll teach you how to make, introduce yourself in a way that lets the kids know that you're a person too, because then they can really connect to you, right? They can't connect to robots. Well, some of them can probably now with like Alexa and like Google Assistant, but shh, don't tell them that. Okay, planning the first day of school, I will talk to you and teach you about how to plan the first day of school. Um, and, um, some strategies and things you can do on the first day. I will also do what's the bingo challenge again. Okay. I will also talk to you about the first week and how to plan the first week and how to get everything rolling. So that way you're having a successful back to school and then you can just, it's all good because again, you'll do the challenges in this course and you'll be done and you'll be ready. And that is the goal, is you will enter back to school or you'll be in your first month and you'll follow through this course. Or even if you start this course sometime later on in the year, like December, January, February, it's all good because then the following year, you're going to have a real smooth sailing. And then after your year's planned, you're golden because the next year you're going to have all the information for yourself done all your plans done in order and it's going to be focused so you can just open a binder and get going and then if you want to change things up or add in some new lessons here and there no problem easy you got like your base or foundation solidified in a magnificent way okay so that is a little bit about the whole course um, some more information is in the description section on the course as well. A cool thing about the course, oh I didn't tell, is that there is a bingo. There is a bingo, sorry. I made two versions of this video for a TPT preview as well as the YouTube video. I didn't tell you about the bingo. If you complete and get a blackout on my bingo, yes you get a freebie. This is, of course, all stuff for you to do, the actual tasks to help you focus, to help you be ready for back to school, okay? If you get a blackout, email this blackout to me, and I shall send you a free resource from my store. So I have given you a selection of three, and you can pick the one that you would like, okay? So that's a little prize for you at the end. As well, if you, um, if you, to this course and if you enroll in this course or download this course so to say um, it's actually going to give you access to my exclusive um, new teacher um, new art teacher focused group on Facebook where you can talk to me whenever I don't, I don't have a life other than this yo okay I do but I will be there so um, you can talk to me you can have a Q&A ask questions anytime during the year, when you're like, oh my gosh, I need an art teacher to talk to and I'm the only one at my school. No, nope, just ask me. I'll be there. Um, as well, other art teachers who are newer will be there as well. So there will be lots of us to ask questions to. You can share ideas. You can work things through with others. Um, and uh, yeah, 
that'll be it. So um, join us there after you um, have this resource and you work through it. And of course, post your bingo there so we all can see how awesome you are. Um, and that's it, okay? So check out the new art teacher focused art course, okay? So you can find it on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Um, or if you click the link down in the description section, you will find it there and you can head on over. And um, I only have one course right now. So you can easily find it. As well, if you head over to my store, um, MsArtastic.com, uh, you will be able to find it. Um, there's a little tab up in the top called Online Courses, and I'll have a link there as well. Okay? You guys have an artastic day, and if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Bye.